I have brought you um, two letters, mm -hmm. actually now it's three, um, that were given to me um, in October of 1965 mm -hmm. after a football game <laughs> <laughs> that has a story behind it. Oh, okay. Okay. I was a cheerleader, mm -hmm. um, the captain of the cheerleaders in that year, mm -hmm. and um, we were having a very poor football season. Mm -hmm. uh, we had not won a game. Mm -hmm. I think well, they had played six games. This was the seventh game, mm -hmm. um, and it was Parents' Day. We played Lycoming College, and um, we were still losing. A player came off of the field after a very bad play, and the coach at the time took a swing, big powerhouse swing, and hit the player. And uh, the player's parents were in the stands and immediately came down to the field. Uh, met, everybody saw it. It's a small stadium. Everybody saw what was going on. There were people were getting very upset, booing. Parents were wanted to come down and get on the field and everything. And um, I happened to be able to calm the crowd down for some reason. Um, so afterwards, uh, Dr. Armstrong, uh, Dr. Thomas Ar Armstrong, um, was a kind of a sponsor of the cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. He always bought us the pom-poms, the chrysanthemums for each game, and would have a banquet for us at the end of the year and everything. And mm -hmm. so he sent me a letter. I was very proud of my cheerleader captain on Saturday afternoon. It showed fast thinking to tell the booers in the crowd to fight their battles later and to support the team on the field. I'm sure that it helped to ease the tension of the moment caused by the unfortunate incident that took place. It showed that you were on the ball, and I'm certain that others in the stands feel, as I do, very proud of how a very fine young woman helped to ease a bad situation that could have flared up further. So, thank you, Judy Hawk, sincerely, Thomas Armstrong. Relatives of the student who was hit during the game uh, wanted to bring assault charges against the coach. And I uh, believe negotiations took place. Um, co the coach decided to retire. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Weber, the president of the university, and Mr. Wissinger uh, took over as coaching of the team. So it had a great effect on the enthusiasm of the students, you know, because here was the president of the university coaching the team. So we were going to have a, a pep rally before the game, and I had invited Dr. Weber to address the crowd. And he says, on November 1st, 1965, Dear Judy, I am terribly sorry that I will not be able to be present at the pep rally on Friday evening, since some weeks before the incident which elevated me to the exalted post of coach, I had agreed to attend my area alumni dinner for my alma mater, Wagner College. I would suggest that a very capable person to speak to the students and the team would be Mr. Wissinger, who has been assisting and directing the team. I know he will be able to give us a fine bit of inspiration, and I hope that the boys on Saturday will do themselves proud. Please extend my regrets to your fine cheerleading staff who have done an outstanding job this year, and I trust the rally will be the best we have ever had. Cordially yours, uh, Gustav Weber, President. And that's his letter.